Welcome back to Take Apart and version 2.0 HF mode for Quenchang UVK5 with SI4732 chip. Mode PCB came in this bag and this 2.0 version is way easier to install than 1.0 version. Also this version has audio amplifier so it fixes low volume in HF mode. This PCB is thin and flexible. PCB way is the place you need for designing and creating your projects. They have it all and for affordable prices. Get your PCBs, PCBAs, CNC or even 3D printing done and shipped worldwide. Make sure to use my referral link linked in description. Also you can just grab existing community projects like for example these for Flipper Zero. Once again PCBWay.com and my referral link is in description below. Let me tear down my Quenchang UVK5. As you see there are no screws holding radio together. Just remove battery and volume knob. Then pray open between alloy and plastic on the bottom of the radio, like so. Next pull out internals from the housing on an angle. Be careful, as speaker wires are soldered on. Don't rip them off. I'll quickly desolder them. For 2.0 version of HF mode we have to remove this 8 leg chip and also these two white components. New PCB will sit here, like so. Easiest way is to cut off all 8 legs of the chip and then desolder them one by one. Be careful as everything is tiny. Now I will remove two white components. These two suckers, like so. Here we go, all is prepared. There is no more removing needing, unlike in version 1.0. New PCB goes here. Product links are in description below. I will solder a couple of chip terminals just to hold it on its place, so that main ground can be soldered properly. Done. Oops, I melted a bit of a display frame, but it will be just fine. Back to X chip terminals. Now I will solder them on properly, all 8 of them. Perfect. Make sure to subscribe. Next is to jump second terminal from top to this bottom side of the white component. I will use copper wire and my amazing soldering skills. Check my video where I installed version 1.0 mode. 2.0 fixes low volume issues. Last jumper will go on this gold pad and to the left side of this black component. It will be short wire. Watch me struggle. I will appreciate if you hit the subscribe button. It's done. Perfect. So recap. We removed two white components, this 8 leg chip, then installed this brownish PCB, soldered on ground, 8 chip terminals, jumper wire from here to here and also from here to here. That's it. I will solder on speaker wires and also I will put piece of foam on a new PCB so that it is held on its place securely. You can also tape it on. And radio goes back together just like a Lego. Done. Volume knob, antenna and battery. Let's see if it works. It does but it has a stock firmware. So head to github and download CEC firmware. Links are in description. You will need CEC 041 version. Then flash it to the radio. A used browser flasher tool. Few seconds later will be CEC 041 firmware on my newly modified radio. Product links are in description below. Also all links related to this procedure. All done. We can test it out now. Radio on, CEC 041 HF as you see. Let's access HF mode by holding zero button. Also go to USB modulation by holding and pressing F button. Like so. And here it is. 
Louder reception with 2.0 mode. I still don't have a proper antenna for these low frequencies, so I can show you only static for now. Most important is that all works and here is comparison between older 1.0 and this new 2.0 HF mode. Both on same firmware. Let's go to HF mode. We'll remove antenna for no differences. Also, same frequencies and modulations. Here you go. Listen to the max volume on version 1.0. And now on version 2.0. Oh yeah, way louder. That's it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.